CNBC time and as you can tell it's 247 and I'm supposed to be on the air with Maria Bartiromo for the closing bell in about an hour and I'm sort of stuck in traffic. It doesn't look so bad but that's because I had to take a, an off-road here and yes I'm wearing a suit don't always wear a suit and I can't really tell you what I'm going to talk about in the show but uh, once this video is up I'm going to have a link up with the CNBC segment hopefully it goes well and hopefully I'm, I should probably put the camera down and get driving, right? Yeah. All right. I'll head out to downtown. The studio. Okay, so it's 3:03. I'm supposed to be up in the suite, uh, the studio suite, uh, at 3:25 to go on the air at 3:40. Um, as you can see, I'm still sort of in traffic, though it did get a little better here. I'm only about a mile away, about two miles away, but. This shouldn't be a problem. I just don't know about the parking situation once I get there. That's where things will get tricky. And that's the arena, the American Airlines Arena, where the Miami Heat play and MTV Music Awards and many concerts. And that's our skyline. It's Freedom Tower right over there, that little yellow building. And look, there's a condo still going up, as if you thought that uh, the boom was already over. They're still building condos in Miami. What a world. I'm a little nervous. And the sign says, road work ahead, delays expected. And I don't think you can make it up from this angle, but not what I wanted to see. And here's a, the Arsh Center and the Ziff Opera House. You know, the cultural center of Miami. And almost there. Made it with time to spare. That's me. Made it to the studio. We'll see how this goes. And it's over. It ended well. I spoke about Dell. My prediction was fairly accurate about them whipping out with estimates and that you can tell if you see the video the background of Miami is actually on a cool screen back there even though we are right on the coast of the bay right here